Welcome back, everyone. Heading mom back to base. Sorry, I was watching Hi Eva there. for so long, but I couldn't do anything. After I gave her the blood, I dig beans, that I like neon sign bed, to the bottom right. Got worse. I think she's still suffering I'm on her own. Looking at her sticker Please, collection, who's in the heart? Take care of her. Oh, I don't know. Uh, by the by, that weapon we got, despite being a boss drop, it actually needs to be upgraded. <laughs> eh, luckily you've got a bunch of materials. Yeah, and a whole lot of haze. <laughs> now, I'm at the titanium tier, and I can get it, but I'm just kind of like, eh, maybe I'll, I should wait and see what I should upgrade next, either armor or weapons, once I go to the next area. You should turn on the jukeboxes or something like that, because cause you're not back here terribly often on the main videos. Maybe you well, thanks to you, are I was more on the side videos friend. kind of thing, but thanks. here it's but just I kind of and to make odd Omigiri to not her. have any have sort of this ambience. Up so I can do it right. That's true. Who knows what kind of traps might be waiting. I'll, I'll keep that in mind in you the future. Keep extra vigilant this time. Or I could remove the uh, the heels, wind mod. <laughs> we can get that blowing wind for ambiance on, once again. True. Make sure you're ready for whatever comes. So yeah, we need. Like I said, there are jukeboxes, and I think there's a mod, but I'm not certain. I'll just mod it. Radio New Vegas. <laughs> there is a mod. F I think there's a mod for just putting in your own music or whatever. Oh man, I hope you like Dad Rock. So hey, back here, and I got this flame weapon. Sweet. Get a little You're lost the ice though. Area. Let's make it another good day. So you remember last time we were here, there was a door that was locked. We need to head there. Mountains are convoluted. Oh, you motherfucker! Right. Not this time. <laughs> <laughs> the snow urchins. Yep. Let's go ahead and cut on back, and now the door is open. But uh, yeah, last time I played that uh, jukebox, I got a copyright, not a strike, but a claim. Hmm. And it surprised me because it happened, like, the, the the time on the claim happened right when I started messing around with the piano. And I was really confused because I thought maybe I somehow okay. played a song on the piano that was copyright. Must have been one of the other vamp songs that, like... Oh yeah, it was a vamp song. Has a brief spot in the soundtrack. All these yellow crystals, you didn't tell me you were soloing Palace of the Dead floor 110. <laughs> I'm serious, by the way, that's what it looks like. The thorns are withered. Oh man. Is it too dry for them? Who? You know what I don't like, guys? I don't like sand. It's coarse, rough, and it gets everywhere. Look. I have many questions about ruins, the uh but now they've been turned the into world desert. layout here. <laughs> right? The successor who created this crypt used their very. Thought we discussed this earlier. The like. As they struggled to resist. The city power. that you're in is basically all weird because of. The wind scattered salt from a uh, dried lake. Various successors nearby, doing funny things with the area bear. around their crypts. Now it's right, the same yeah. Or um, place as the one where evil just before. the great collapse. She and I promised. Also, you're near the Sierra Nevadas. One of us fell to yep. the thirst. Well. Well, let's say, uh, you know, I didn't realize Eva was from California. No, I don't think Eva she's from for California. Me. Just over I'm there. guessing she, if I had to guess, I I'd say she was a uh, Pied Noir. Anyway, I'm going on ahead. A what? This is between me and Eva. Uh, for basically, uh, French people who settled in what was at the time colonial Algeria. Most oh. of them, we have to. Uh, Considering the conflict there because of hi there French colonialism, fuck off. Uh ended up going back home after the Algerian War of Independence. Okay. But you still see a couple names like in history or whatever, a couple I'm people still in the lot of who are notable pianos. But Albert Camus? Yeah, that guy. That Albert Camus? He was born in Algeria. Interesting. Oh, hey, these dudes. I haven't seen them since, uh, that 
one underground area that was all flooded. And surprisingly, the, uh, the fire weapon doesn't seem to be too great in an area full of sand. Did you find something good? You don't say. Fair to say that icicle attack right now. Yeah, somehow like I find that ice is the element that is most universal, most universally useful in this game. Ah, so it's like the opposite of Skyrim, where ice was the, was the most, not worthless, but considering that Nords had 50% frost resistance, and that the uh, Draugr also had frost resistance, and they're the two primary enemies in the game. Oof. Also, uh, it's kind of... It's kind of nice coming from having played way too much WoW close to... Thankfully, it's been close to a decade since I stopped. Uh, and trying to make Frost Mage good in PvE and... Ugh, God damn it! <laughs> Always has to be shackled to the needs of PvP. Well, quicksand. I know how this works. Well, not just any quicksand. Yeah, uh, I I'm concerned about possibly sinking into the quicksand, but actually what the real issue is with the quicksand, or I guess just sand, is that it actually drains your Iker. Yep. Which makes it a good thing that you've got, um, the, uh, leak resistance, well, the remove leak gift on your bar. Oh, yeah. Because leak and things that function like leak are a theme for this area. I gotta say, it, it is a slightly dickish that, uh, oh god, not these guys again. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Call that a wombo combo? Yeah. Oh, oh boy. They hit pretty freaking hard now. Those generic mooks got an upgrade. Okay, let's come on back and let's try this. Huh. Went by a way better. <laughs> Uh, I thought the Blazing Claw was pretty light. I'm sorry, Eo, the losing what streak? Card? What blood card are you using? I am running Survivor, and yeah, that is weird. I swore when oh, I okay. put... Okay, Survive... Survivor is one of the ones... One of the lower clip load ones. Okay, because, yeah, in... Do not let hidden foes Yeah, I see, the, I see you over there. I can't lock on to him, like, though. Because that... Because the Blazing Claw is a relatively light one-handed sword. And I'm also using... And, you're also, and you've also got, um... Damn it, I forget what it is, but I really... Noble But silver. it's a really useful veil. Yeah, so... Yeah, Noble Silver is, like, pretty light as well. It's, like, so I was thinking... Yeah, I... You'd be under on a lot of these things, which just have... You know, 50 mm. is the upper limit for... Why fast roll, but like this. Survivor's that... limit is only 40 for that instead. Yeah, and that is what's weird. I was like, it took me a minute to realize. I think I actually paused there because I wanted to check my inventory. It's like, wait, why am I not dodging right? But, uh, no, yeah, it's just this this code doesn't have the uh, range that, what was it, Dark Seeker had. Also, that other dude, he's just gone. Later, dude, I, I guess. Yep. <laughs> Where is he at? Or Let's the avoid deep sand. Oh, these guys again. <laughs> and so draining is going to be very important. Oh, good job, Eo. Oh, yeah. During the second, because, yeah, anytime you touch the sand, I don't even think, like, it seems if you touch the sand, you're going to lose at least one Iker, irregardless like, of how long you're on there. There's... There's a... 
there's an aura around you, sort of a heat shimmer or whatever. Oh yeah, okay. Whenever it's draining the Riker. Because yeah, even that tiny gap I lost one just oh, dodge rolling over it. So alright, we got one guy up top, one guy on bottom, and fuck it, just charge. And I cannot get behind him. There's an invisible wall here. Yeah, now now titanium is finally starting to drop, so that'll be good. It's just such a I don't know if these enemies have a uh, resistance to fire. I just noticed when I use the the strong attacks, they don't seem to do that much as I would expect them to do. Okay, I think this is the one I checked weights. But uh, yeah, and uh, and if if these enemies do have a fire resistance, it'd be kind of dickish because the last blood code we got is a fire based blood code. These ones call. Oh no, not these guys. It's a Marlock. Remember fighting the lightning versions of them? Oh. And I did not even acknowledge those little uh pixel those little uh Oh FX yeah, those, those sand things they sent out are kinda goofy. Yeah. This is uh this is gonna be painful. And we haven't even seen the full move set. This uh, dust cloud bandit, parched executioner. Uh, the wiki. There are two different wiki names, and it's not really clear which is right. Oh. Also, what isn't helping is that I keep mixing up my uh, attack parts, and I keep using the uh, the one where I stand in place and do circle moves instead of the one where I teleport forward. Okay, the name I've got down here is Dust Cloud Bandit, so. There's a Dust Cloud! Yeah. <laughs> I you have good luck with that, EO. It drains her high core, but, you know, enough damage will get rid of that. And I think in particular, uh, a backstab style drain will just. They can you back I swear I keep trying it, they just Yeah. Doesn't Yeah, it's, yeah, the exact position is kinda of funny. We've had this discussion before because they use a similar model to just the regular parched executioners. Oh jeez, that's rude game. Yeah, like this like this one. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, if you have the animation, one of the animation locked drains, then that will just instantly get rid of the dust cloud. Interesting. I, did not I am pretty sure that enemy had more health than the last boss. You see, yeah, that one did take quite a bit. They do, they do have a fair bit of health, but they don't have that much health. As I recall, the previous boss melted. <laughs> well, that's because Leo was using fire resistance because he was in a fire area oh, anyway, soon. and most of that boss's attacks are fire-based. God, is there is there sand-based defenses? And hey, I just realized this door is here. Oh, too bad. Sand is sand is one of the is like doesn't have an element. Ah, uh, it is the, uh, wind element in old-school Final Fantasy games. Yeah. It's still a- it's still some physical type. There may be something up above. Red Brick and Ivy is an interesting choice for a desert. <laughs> oh, jeez. There geez. are enemies hidden here. See all those dudes down there, so let's just Lost stick to the top for now. Ahead. Yeah, best way to go. I'm pretty sure they'll jump down there too if you go down there first, so... I don't know. I've never tried it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it... Like, I just always I just always go 
on the top and then like grab the one thing in the middle later on. Yeah, it just seems kind of obvious to take it this way. Also, be prepared to see me actually use the uh, drain attacks, you know, the non-backstab ones, a little more often mm -hmm. than usual, just to keep my hiker up. I mean, I guess I could use those hiker consumables that I never use otherwise. But, you know, you know how it is in RPGs when you have consumables. Yeah. What if? What if you need it later? I will use a Mega Elixir to heal one HP. You Try and what? stop me. You monster. You know, Jade Star calls it his giant robotic crab syndrome. My mother calls that sort of thing when my father tries to keep too many whatevers. Uh, you never know. That kind of thing. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Also, I didn't realize the AI could also use uh, descending attacks like that. That was interesting to see. All right, later, Eo. Yep. There's no good reason to fight them in the sand. Oh my god. <laughs> Ouch. Leak. Leak. Get rid of Leak. Yeah, good thing I had that on. Even if it was mostly just so I could, uh, you know, learn it. Yeah. <laughs> and at this point, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it, we'll just go down and take them all out. <laughs> There. You are right before we can the next sense. missile. Yeah, speaking of, uh, this is another spot where the first missile was only was 20%, so only five things to find. Not a hyper long level by any means. And sweet extra healing. Woo! So how have your guys' uh, New Year's have been? I found some missile. I spent all yesterday doing Final Fantasy maps. <laughs> <laughs> I made a million gel fleecing savage raiders. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. I believe we it's can been alright with my new job. Oh, well, that's right. Nice. Yeah. Even though I'm still waiting on... Uh, Oh, are we going to have some fun here? Or are you going to be... Oh, yes. Uh, attentive. <laughs> okay, you're going to be attentive. Uh, I I'm going to have a little bit of fun here. Use but, yeah, uh... To hide. <laughs> right now, I'm stuck doing data entry on... Oh, shit. Like what is effectively an old hand-me-down laptop with an <gasps> HDD? Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Things are just slow to load. Yeah, that sounds utterly miserable. And the funny thing is that, like, I just I brought in my mother's old laptop, and that had an HDD as well and was slow because of that. And I, I, did, I asked her, hey, can I just, like, clone the drive and put an SSD on this? She said, fine. And so I used that for, like, watching videos or listening to podcasts, and <laughs> it's faster than the work one. Jeez. <laughs> oh, man, that actually reminds me of a uh, work story from when I used to be a third-party merchandiser. And, oh, God, damn, this dude's got a boomstick. Yep, you got shotgun. Uh, so instead of, like hiring, you know, each company hiring like their own set of merchandisers, they usually just offset that to third party people that way, you know, they don't have to worry about providing a consistent income for such people. And Yay for the gig economy. Right? Honestly, if I could go back to it, I would. Unfortunately where I live there's not many stores near me, so I had to quit working there. Also I drive a Mustang now instead of a Civic. Oh that's rude. But um yeah, so I had to do some work at a store where I needed a laptop as well as a portable Wi-Fi thing. Hmm. And the computer they sent me couldn't connect to the internet. 
So I'm like, oh shit, why can't I not download these files that I'm supposed to download? And ended up going to the store and, you know, trying to wing it. And then thankfully, after all, all the worrying I did the day previous to try and... God damn it. To get this stuff working, <laughs> uh, the store themselves were having problems and just said, okay, well, we're done here. You know, uh, here's a signature. Get out of here. So, uh, are you going to eventually figure out what the correct way to engage this enemy was? Yeah. The thing was... Because you almost got it, but you didn't... You didn't stick the landing. Yeah, the, the, the issue was I didn't know if I was going to be able to get back up. Yeah, the ladder was patently obvious. <laughs> well, from that side, but... No, I mean, from the side you were standing out a minute ago. <laughs> Oh, hey, dude, no need to impel yourself with the claw. I'll help you out with that. One day I will see what these guys actually do. Did you find something good? I don't know why, but when you were telling your laptop story, I fully expected you to have to go get a PCMCIA card. <laughs> uh, is that one of those... Wi is that one of those Wi-Fi cards or something? Oh, Jesus. PCMCIA is a very old standard. Oof. If you've ever seen a laptop with, like, one of those little drive bays on the side that you couldn't figure out what sticks in there, it's for one of those. Oh. Uh, I think I, I think my first laptop back in 2004 had that sort of slot, or had something like it. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Eventually, you were supposed to get, like... New laptops, either if my company gets them or um, the client we're doing this for just pays for them. And watch for incoming fire. Hopefully, the client will get around to doing that, because the client certainly has enough money for it. Ah, uh, you know how it works these days. Because the they can have the money for it doesn't mean they'll spend it. It's narrow. But, but man, now sad. now I'm feeling kind of I miss that job. You know what's great about it? <laughs> I wasn't a retail employee per se, so whenever a customer asked me for help, I could just say I don't work here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, man, the power trips at you, you can just say I don't work for you, shut up. Oh yeah. Uh, this that that sounds like bartending. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't I didn't Work as a university bartender for terribly long, and it's not the same as being, you know, a regular bartender. Yeah. But still, one of the things they impressed on us very early was because you are serving alcohol, you are allowed to refuse service. Hmm. Oh, that doesn't. Uh, that doesn't work in uh, retail. <laughs> I had a coworker uh, who quit before I did. Where uh, someone just started yelling at them, saying that they're like working too slow or something, and the employee was yeah. like, uh, "I'm not gonna, you know, don't yell at me like that, or I'm not gonna check you out." And management just straight up said, "Look at how much stuff is in their card. You have to check them out." Yeah, like in like American retail, all over just has this toxic. Uh, employee customer culture. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know all about that shit. Good lord. Uh, time to oh, get up oh, on God, my high horse. Oh, God, are you gonna keep overextending yourself? Maybe. <laughs> but, um, to, to get up on my high Should horse, you know, down? people, like, through the internet stuff, they'll, they'll say, you know, oh, hey, you know, getting, uh, you know, making a living through internet stuff's hard because you get insulted on Twitter and stuff. And I'm like, dog, I wish I could click X on anyone who insulted me when I was in retail, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> I didn't get the ability to just roll my eyes and not even have to finish hearing what the rest they, of what they wanted to say to me. I had to sit there and take it. And then I wasn't even allowed to defend myself. 
yeah. not in a if I defend myself people will, will uh, you know become more this. enraged at me Looks but in like a if I defend myself down. I get fired later EO yeah she'll teleport back oh, down man. after you it's great elevator physics I love it Hey, this is that uh, door that was blocked off at the beginning. Yep. You've got yourself a little shortcut. Yeah. What's that? So, sweet, more uh, map mapping. The Sixty. Sixty percent. Yep. Just two more What's things to here? find. But I was like, eh, I was getting ready to go back. Uh, just kind of like, you know what? I have three heals left, and this shortcut will take me right up to a spot where there's not going to be a whole lot of enemies, so I don't have to fight a bunch. Let's uh, go on ahead and heal up. So, let's... That's a bit of a time skip, but... <laughs> you really came all the way here to visit me? So, uh, turns out, Nikolai I'm here really does not care about White Mia. So much trouble for you. Oh. The cop... So, I gotta get Mia in her black clothes. Huh. I didn't realize that was programmed that way. Huh? What's <laughs> up? Did you forget something? I hope there's something I can do to help everyone. That's it! I can train again just like I used to. With this form, I'll be even stronger than you, Mia! Don't be silly. What if something happens to you? Leave everything to us, Nicola. Mom, Mia, he's a giant well, robot I guess with I'll have antlers. To train on my own, then. Just in case. So that's the scene with uh, Mia. Mm -hmm. Now, time to go uh, check out something else. Back to my favorite place. Ah. Uh. Right. I was watching a video the other day, and they were talking about Code Vein. Mm -hmm. And the they were saying that you. the Cathedral of the Sacred Blood wasn't that Karen bad. Sleeping Fuck them. <laughs> you should look in on her if you have the time. I'm sure she would appreciate it. All right, Louis. I guess they have my kind of taste in levels. <laughs> so on my going, way. Did... Are we talking about the same level here? <laughs> All right, time for some uh, pro speedrun strats. I save about five frames whenever I drop from a stairway. Shall we? All right, Louis. Want to say hi to your sister? Oh yeah, I remember. Wait. You know, we had the cutscene with Jack at the beginning of the Crown of Sand, but it was kind of a missed opportunity not to just be able to include him as a rejoined party member right there. Right. Later, everyone. Later. Oh, see ya.